discussed in this video. And the nativity is, of course, the birth of Yezu of Nazareth. And it happened under the reign of Orgos Antipater, also known as King Herod. He was the Roman puppet king of Judea, which is now Palestine. Basically, it details the story of Mary and Joseph traveling from Nazareth to Bethlehem at the birth of this Roman census, and it also tells of the Magi or the wise men that came to visit, to witness the birth of Jesus, and among the Magi were three wise men, there were twelve magi all together, but the three wise men were Melchior, who was the Shah of Iran, and there was Casper, who is also known as Gondopharis the first of India. He was king of India, but which then included territory in Afghanistan and Pakistan. Also known as Gudafasara, and then that leaves Balthazar as the Iraqi king of Arabia. And prior to witnessing the birth of Jesus with Mary and Joseph, the twelve Magi met with Horgos, telling of king of the Jews and Hordos Antipater promptly ordered infanticide and specifically andracide and basically there was andracide and an infanticide from Bethlehem to as far north as Syria and the Roman Emperor Augustus said of the massacre of the innocents, it is better to be Herod's pig than his son, which speaks volumes. And there is also the moral implications of the nativity, which is basically um, in the spirit of hospitality that we shouldn't follow the example of those who told Mary and Joseph that there was no room at, in the inn and that they needed shelter and hence why they were in a manger and the nativity is told in the biblical verses Luke 2 and 1 and from that passage to Luke 2.21 and it's also told in Matthew 1 and 18 to Matthew 2.12 and there are other political implications there's the gifts and the generosity of the Magi which parallels with St. Nicholas the Hellenic Bishop um, who lived in Turkey and gave gifts to children and he is partially buried in that way but partially buried in Kilkenny in the province of Leinster in Ireland but also in the spirit of gift giving and generosity it also leads us to socialism looking after the poor children and other political implications of the nativity is to be pro-family because that is what the story is about. Um, Jesus, Mary and Joseph and it all undoubtedly has pro-life implications as the story focused on looking, up, looking after pregnant mother in Palestine and no room at in at no room at the end element of the story and should lead us to welcome genuine refugees but their this implication must be
is. And this brings us on to another subject related to Christmas. And it, it is the sayings, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Now both of these are undoubtedly Christian greetings relating to Christmas and said by millions if not billions of Christians across the world. Now, Merry Christmas is derived from Merry Christ's Mass and it originated when John Fisher wished Thomas Cromwell Merry Christmas on the 22nd of December 1534 and that means it predates Happy Holidays by over 30 centuries as Happy Holidays which is derived from Happy Holy Days and originated in America in Philadelphia specifically when the Philadelphia Inquiry Inquirer beg your pardon wished its readers on the 5th of December 1863 Happy Holidays so thus both Merry Christmas and Happy 